Stink, 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 stink. So yes. hold on yes. a second. So uh, I got Stoke telling me, hey, Mike, you shouldn't, and Broncos fans shouldn't have really listened to what Sean had to say about Bo, that, hey, what do you expect? He's going to say things. You, you you made the mistake of taking him too literally. All right, I, I think that's a that's a bit of a reach. But what about you, Mark? Mark Schlereth, you came out throughout the offseason season throughout the preseason, and you said, let me tell you something. There is not a rookie quarterback in this class who is better set up to go out and make an immediate impact because of the fit than yeah. Bo Nix with Sean Payton. Okay, I maybe I shouldn't have listened to Sean Payton. Stokes, should I have not listened to oh. my guy, Mark Schlereth, when he was saying these things? Because, Mark, you said it. You said of all the rookie quarterbacks, yeah, this guy I is did. stepping into the best fit. Absolutely. And I don't see it yet. Yeah, I don't either. You're 100%. 100% you deceived me. You yeah. deceived me. You lied to me. No. You lied no, to me. From a, from a pure fit standpoint, I didn't think there was any better fit than Bo Nix going in with Sean Payton. Based on what Bo Nix did in college, based upon – you know, the success that he had in college based upon the 61 starts, based upon, you know, Sean Payton's offense and, and you know, what Sean Payton has been in the in the National Football League. And, and let's face it, right now, you know, if, if the careers were to end today, you know, people would sit back and say, and, and I've heard this a bunch on social media as well, yep, I knew it, Sean Payton was never any good. Sean Payton was only good because he had Drew Brees. And you know what? If the season were to end today, guess what? Touche. You're right. Like, you, you've you been validated. Now, we'll see what happens, you know, this week, next week, throughout the rest of the season, because I will tell you this. If all of a sudden this offense starts to figure it out and Bo Nix starts to play better, and the next thing you know, the Broncos are are sitting at, you know, at seven and four and pushing toward the playoffs. And a big reason why they're sitting there is because this offense started producing. Then the other part of that narrative, it'll flip. The narrative will flip. But right now, you're right. Mike, I did say it was the best fit. And I believed it. And I still believe that it's a really good fit. But they're not having very much offensive success. And again, how much of it is Bo Nix? How much of it is his receiving core? How much of it is the Denver Broncos haven't had a tight end since freaking Shannon Sharp? I mean, do we have do do we have a tight end? I mean, I think Kroll caught a ball maybe yet last week. I think I think Atkins caught a ball. Like we don't have we have zero control in the middle of football field. You know, when you set up the high-low aspect of all things football, when you're trying to dissect the defense, we don't have anybody underneath that really commands coverage. Nobody's concerned about our tight ends. So there are issues there. But, yeah, Mike, yeah, 100% hold me accountable because I believed it then. I still believe that it's a great fit. It just hasn't produced any fruit so far. Yeah, I mean, golly, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm not being judged off my for, first six radio shows. Glad they, they, they let me continue to try to get better and improve. I mean, goodness gracious. I mean, your first, you know, six at whatever you did, is that yeah. is that how you're going to be judged for the rest of your career, the rest I'm of your life? They're... I mean, so I get it. It hasn't been good enough yet, okay? There's been some bad moments. We, we've seen a glimpse or two there mm -hmm. where, okay, we, we, we right. can get a sense of hopefully what it will look like moving forward. But, I mean, damn. Can we just be? Can we just take a step back and realize it's only six? I don't care what Sean said pre-draft, during the draft. We have seen six games here. This thing is going to go a couple years, okay? And 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 it hasn't been good enough. Yesterday was awful. It was awful. I'll give you that, Mike. I'll give everybody that wants to overreact to one game and say Bo was the wrong pick. If you want to do that after six games, Marilat's going to be here. Go ahead. Hey, I'll tell you, you're right. If that's how we're going to judge this thing after six games. Let's take a step back and realize we got 17 of these to play, okay? 17 to evaluate Bo, and 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 let's let it play out for a little bit. Well, yeah, but I, I, I'm being critical of of Bo and Sean today. I'm at no point have I ever come out today and said, "Yep, I've seen enough. Bo ain't the answer. They should be looking at another quarterback in the draft next year." I'm not saying that. All I'm asking both of you, 
and I'll just ask the question flat out. Did you expect more from Bo and Sean to this point? Did you expect more? Well, yeah, I, I expected more than damn 20 yards in the okay. first half. I expected more sure. than what I saw against the Jets. Yeah, I expected a little bit more. Um, but I'm not all out on Sean Payton and Bo next because of what I've seen through six games. But I did expect a little bit more. Yeah, I, I'm 100% with you. First off, I'd just like to say I'm glad they're not great and stoked not only after the first six oh, shows, gosh, here we go. but after the first 600 shows. I'm still <laughs> glad they haven't. <laughs> Marky, you still got it, Mark. You still got it. You hot shot. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> I got to tell you, my wife flew into town yesterday. and Boy, her arms hot. No. Uh, she flew into town yesterday, and she said to me, she goes, I love it when Stokely makes fun of you. Yes. That's why. That, like, I, she didn't even say, like, hey, honey. How you doing? Or hey, you know things are. She's like she was home last week. She goes, I love it. You know, it was, they they went home. The grandkids all came back home because of the hurricanes, um, in in you know in Florida. But she said, I love it. She didn't say, hey, you guys have a really good show, or hey, you Mike and Stoke have great chemistry. She goes, man, I love it when Stokely gives you crap. Special, special. Like, thanks. Perfect. Yeah, thanks, sweetheart. Yes. Well, no, she, but I'm a, I'm a hundred. Hey, Stoke, I'm a hundred percent on board with you. What? 22 yards. Come on, guys. Seriously, 22 yards. Garbage. You know, I, th this offense has not been good enough. Do I have higher expectations? You're damn right. I guarantee you Sean has higher expectations and Bo has higher expectations as well. But again, this is so much deeper than just Sean and Bo. When guys aren't executing, when guys you spend a lot of money on, guys like Bolsey, guys like Quinn Miners, guys like Ben Powers, you know, um, they, they had a changeover at center, right? Um, and Forsyth is just getting drilled into the backfield yesterday. Like, you know, Wattenberg is no longer the start, right? He got injured. He went on IR. So Forsyth is starting. He's getting shoved into the backfield. Like, there are other issues that are going on right now that are bigger than just Sean and Bo. Now, those two, got. he's got a game plan better. They got to play better. He's got to... He's got to call better plays. I get all that. But, boy, there are plenty of fingerprints, plenty of dirty fingerprints on this offensive performance so far this season. And, well, the other thing then to, to think about all that, though, is that most of these players you're talking about, they, they got Sean's fingerprints on, on them being here, whether it was draft picks, free agent signings. So that calls into question not just his, his coaching but it's also his his personnel. This is the guy who's in charge. I know people continue to call out George Payton for what's going on. Folks, George Payton, stop being important and relative and relevant around that franchise the moment Sean Payton walked through the door. So when we look at these players who aren't performing, whether they're draft picks, trades, free agent signings, if they're Sean's guys, let's not forget about that either. All Those that's are Sean's fair. guys. All that's very right? fair. Quinn Miner's got yeah. the new contract. Sean. Ben Powers, big free agent deal. Sean. You know? McGlinchey. Uh, McGlinchey. Yeah, I, I, Mims, I got it. I mean, Franklin. He, he's the captain of the ship. Yeah. Okay. okay he's calling so factor the, he's all call, that yeah. in, too. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, but again, it's, it's six games in with Bo, a young quarterback, and it's still, still early. It needs to get better. And yeah, you're 100% right. All of this is on Sean. Sean was given mm -hmm. the keys to the kingdom. And um, he will be evalu evaluated um, under that microscope.